Hello all, Robert here with a Tech Geek 311 app review. But this app is going to be for an app I've done before called 24Me. But this is the Apple Watch app. So let's go ahead and get into that. If you want to see my other videos on this app, just go ahead and subscribe and you'll be able to see my other videos that I've done. This will be the first video for the Apple Watch. So I want to give you guys an example, show you kind of how this app works. Uh, what features you can do and so forth. Now remember it's not going to be as quick as the uh, iPhone app on this one so uh, let's go ahead and get into it see if I can get a good signal here and I can show you guys how this app works. Okay now here we're in the app so you can see the first thing it starts off with is your today screen. Now remember this app even on the iPhone is having a bit of an issue uh, loading it gets a little slow so in the beginning you might not be able to move anything but as you see, it will finally load in and it will let you you'll do it. So that's one thing I want you guys to be aware of. Don't think the app is broke or the watch is too slow. Just know that this app has had a few slowing issues on the phone as well. And on the Apple Watch is the same thing. You'll see that I, once I load up the page, it takes a couple of seconds. Once I swipe, try to swipe across, it will take a couple of seconds and it will finally kick in. Now that could be an issue with the OS software for the Apple Watch, it also could be an issue with the app itself. That I'm unsure about, that's something developers can look into. Overall it's still the same app, the same good app that I've done many reviews on on the iPhone. So I want you guys to see that. So you've got three views here, it goes all the way up to May 9th, you have your tomorrow, and then you have your today view. Any one of these, like I said, give it a little second to load, any one of these you can tap on, so if I'm going to tap on this, it will give you the option here of editing them. So you can edit the times, the dates, uh, edit the calendar it's in, add a note, any one of those. So uh, you can do the same thing with the calendar events as well. So let's make sure it's got that. Alright, so now if I force touch, which is the idea of pressing in with your finger, you have the option now of adding your task, your event, and your note. Now remember, you don't have a keyboard, so this is going to be done with your voice. So I want to add a task, I'm going to tap on that, like I said, give it a second, it's loading, and it'll load me up a blank uh, section thing for task, same as your iPhone would, except this one will use your voice to type in everything the same way Siri does when you speak to Siri. Give it a second on here, it's going to take a little bit, little bit longer time because it's feeding off of the iPhone app that it's currently working with. So give it a little bit, little bit more time than usual. And uh, so once it loads up, I'll show you guys how you add a task on here. Now this will all uh, increase and this will all get better as the apps get updated and as the iOS for the watch kit gets updated. All this will speed up a lot, not more than what it is. Okay, right here we have your add a task screen. You can see here everything you need you can click to set the title or the body of the text you have your time you have the, the actual reminder time and the reminder setting so we're going to go in here and do one this is a test of 24 me saying it works with Siri so we're going to do hunt Okay, there it is. This is a test of 20, 24 me, Siri, whatever. It doesn't make, make a difference. Have it for today. We're going to set the time. It's going to go through your list of times. You can use your finger or you can use digital crown. And we're going to do it for 9 p.m. tonight. And then you can set you a reminder. So I click in here and I'll do it on time. And then if I want to set a note, I can set a note if I want to. Now remember, this is going to go in as an actual task on 24 me not as under your iOS reminders or under your calendar. So hit done and give it a chance for this to upload. Now it might or might not show up on the watch itself but it will show up on your phone app for sure. It might take a little longer for it to show up on your watch and so we go in here for example and you don't see it in here for today so you probably want to give it a little bit of time before it loads in. Just know it's not going to be instantaneous. Now, also, with 24Me, we're going to go in here, and if I scroll up here on my glances, here's my 24Me. 
and it's going to have in here of course your calendar you have your to do's and you have in here your notes so if I try to tap on that it's just going to pull me into the app that's all it's going to do so no matter where I tap on the glances I'm going to be pulled right into the app itself and you can see I can still scroll down and you can edit any one of these things you can add tasks with your voice you can add a calendar events with your voice if you want to that's pretty much the basis of what this this 24me app can do on the on the Apple Watch itself. So on the iPhone you can have a lot more um, choices and a lot more things you can actually add in there and to do. This is sort of just a way to give you a notification on your wrist so you don't have to go into the big app itself. And uh, I like it. So far I like it. It's good. Of course it's a little slow. That's only because the Apple Watch software and it's also because it's the new software for the Apple Watch. Um, but I know with time that will improve that will increase and those things I know uh, we'll see um, we'll see in the further updates and we'll see with other iOS updates and OS updates for the watch so I'm going to give you guys basically an overview show you guys how 24me for the Apple Watch works so you guys can uh, get an idea if this is an app that you have on your phone now you'll know how to use it on the Apple Watch okay so I hope you guys like that video if you do hit that like below don't forget to give me any comments Subscribe if you can and you'll get all my other videos as they come out. Alright, so once again guys, I thank you guys for watching. And this was my app review of 24me for the Apple Watch. Which is right there. Okay, have a good day. Thanks for watching.